Hey guys, Meg here, and today I just want to talk to you a little bit about kelp. The Latin name for it is Laminaria digitata, and it is a type of algae found in the sea, and it has all sorts of benefits. It is rich in iron, potassium, and iodine, and it has been used for weight loss, cancer prevention, and as a laxative for constipation and for hypertension. Um, so anyways, you might have heard a lot about kelp recently. Back in June 2021, the American Thyroid Association warned um, the New England Journal that Americans' iodine levels have decreased by 50%. And so like, there's been all of this, um, all these blogs and all of this information about um, you know using kelp to support um, thyroid function and give you the iodine that you need. Um, if you go into Google and you search uh, kelp for iodine deficiency, you're gonna come across a lot of blogs, um, even like WebMD, and you know they're suggesting that you add some kelp to um, your supplementation or your foods so that you can get enough in. And I just wanted to talk to you about the cautionary use of um, of using kelp, like how to use it cautiously, um, because it is it does have a lot of medicinal properties to it. However, too much of it can actually um, cause issues with your thyroid, and um, it can exasperate um, acne. And also, kelp is high in high in arsenic, and so we want to be careful where our kelp is harvested from. Um, I think Australia and Great Britain have really high arsenic levels in their kelp and so we want to make sure that we're not getting it from there um, and that we're not using too much so i have gone i went to the store a while ago when all this kelp stuff like blew up and we should all be taking kelp um and i bought myself some of this i don't know if you can see it yeah kelp granules and the back of it says to take three grams or one teaspoon of kelp um that's a lot of kelp. The recommended daily dose is 150 micrograms. And so if you're following directions on, um, on a supplement or on a food label, you need to be really cautious. Um, it says right on the back that kelp granules is an excellent source of iodine and it will give you 1,092% of your recommended daily dose. We don't want to go above that. And so I measured it out just so you can see. Um, that is what the their recommendation is on the back of this bottle is that you, you use a serving of kelp, and that's a serving of kelp. Um, most of the supplements that have, like kelp supplements, have one gram um, of iodine, and that's one gram. And I tried to, I tried to measure it out. It's such a small amount. I don't even know if you can see it on the bottom. Um, 150 micrograms. So this one's how much you should be getting a day to not cause problems um, in your system and throw everything off. Um, what I like to do is add it to my salt. I'll take like teaspoon of kelp and add it to my salt shaker and fill the rest of it with salt and shake it up and that way my kids are getting it and they don't know and they're not going to complain and it's healthy for them um, and I get it as well um, <clears throat> but yeah so use kelp it is good for um, giving you enough iodine to support your thyroid however use it cautiously you definitely don't want to throw off any more things in your body, especially if you're trying to correct things. I hope you guys learned a little something, and I hope you have a great day.